hi sweet sugars hi 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 how are you darling today's video is going to be a soft spoken lo-fi vlog i just got back from hilton head island i had a quick little getaway obsessed with hilton head island and i went shopping 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 because the weather was you know erratic and moody and so I just ate and drank and shopped and slept and it was so relaxing so I'm going to be in a range my voice my tone is going to be somewhere in a range from you know like a soft-spoken place but I do get excited sometimes when I'm talking so I might get up a little higher and then I'll have to bring it down also, I'm beside Daisy and Kasha's cage and they go nuts when they hear me talk. Um, they get super excited. So you may hear them in the background, but hopefully it's just like an added layer um, that you enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, the silk slip skirt trend. I saw this had to have it. It was $4.89 and love the color. I do wish there was a little bit more lace at the bottom. And I just think it's a really cool trend. Like I've always been in to like sleepwear or um, silk being worn during the day because it's so kind of naughty. Do you know what I mean? Or unexpected. Um, but the trend is you wear a silk slip, okay? You wear a slip, and then you wear a big t-shirt, and then you wear boots, and you do your hair, you do your makeup, you put on your jewelry, and it is a gorgeous rock and roll look. I love it so much. I had to get this, so let me know what you think about this trend. I didn't try that on, hopefully it fits. This vase I had to have. Look at all the colors. It's gorgeous. And then the green rim with the gold, the top and the bottom. Also, I've told you all this before, I'll remind you, if you're ever getting um, a glassware or porcelain, check the rim run your fingers over it make sure there are no chips now this piece has some like dips in it but it is not anything um that's broken also if you find a piece that you have to have and it's it's kind of broken what i would tell you to do is you can get plaster from like any home improvement store and believe it or not, the Dollar Tree, and you can kind of mold it on there. I've used it a million times. Marking on the bottom. I got this for less than eight, and this is upside down, but I mean, it does look like little cherries. Look at the butterfly, the golds, the pinks, the oranges. I had to have this. And I actually think I might use some of it as inspo for my next tattoo. <laughs> um, ideas for this, of course, faux or real flowers. You could put this by the door if you have tiny little umbrellas and use it as an umbrella stand. I have a huge one because I have large umbrellas and messy boys in the house and this would be so cute if you didn't have to worry about you know the thing it's just a great piece um for layering put it on books put it up high put it down low put it on your entry table put it in a bathroom literally this could be anything this could be a fancy little you know trash can in your bathroom so I had to have this love it let me know would you buy this Okay, so while we were down there, I was like, I really need some new sunglasses. I don't. I don't. Hot tip, I don't. Um, but these are green. I am telling you, 
you cannot find this color green. I can't ever find this like yummy money color green in a sunglass, pair of sunglasses. Um, this was at um, Caligny, I believe, Caligny Plaza, where we went and got the best ice cream at the ice cream cone. I got peanut butter, chocolate, and B got <clears throat> peach two nights in a row. Anyway, we found this place and these are like designer um, <clears throat> inspired. Can you even handle this? Shh, Daisy. So yeah, anyway, I had to have these, I think Tom Ford was the designer for this one or Chloe, I can't remember. And Brandon got a gorgeous pair of Ralph Lauren um, black. He needed just like a good pair of black sunglasses. So anyway, obsessed with these based on the color. I do like the shape. I normally don't go for a cat eye, but I just needed to um, do something different. So I love these. Um, let's see. Okay. So <laughs> just keep those on the whole time. How cute is this? Wow. Um, I needed a new swimsuit. Did not try it on. Have no idea if it's going to work. It's $5. I just thought it was super cute. It's like brand new. So there's that. Okay. And I do have a heartbreaking story from one of my favorite places to shop. So last time we went to Hilton Head, we went to, the, we always go to this one store. I'm not going to name it. It's amazing. It's fabulous. And everybody is so nice that works there. And that is the store that had that gorgeous French mirror. So beautiful. And it would have been like 20 bucks, but we had Julian with us. We had a car full. We did not have the space. I mean, I literally should have bought it just to claim it and figured it out later because we probably could have gotten it this trip. I will never do that again, by the way. Let something haunt me like that. I will get it. I will get it. This time, this trip to the store, I pick out all this jewelry, which I'll show you most of it. Some of it has sold. It was so good. And one of the pieces was a lion, a little huge lion head on a cuff. And I go back to pay because I there's like a jewelry counter. I left everything there. I went to, to go look at other things. Come back and the British lady helping me said, oh, there's not a tag on it, so we cannot sell it to you. I'm sorry, what? I should have lied. I should have lied. I should have said, oh, I saw a price tag on it. I totally saw a price tag on it. Went and sell it to me, sold me every other single piece of jewelry, which one, another one, I realized later. Was it not tagged? Maybe it was. Maybe I thought it wasn't tagged and then saw the tag. But all I can tell you is I thought I, somebody back there wants that. They didn't see it. I found it. They want it. They kept it. So that broke my heart. Um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay, so how cute is this? I love the colors. I love the little handle. Orange and pink. And, of course, the little sweet tassels. This is actually a mud pie which I love mud pie, bright straw tote. It was $42.95. I don't know if you can see that on there. $42.95 mud pie, and I grabbed it for $13. So I love that for the summer. I just love a straw bag. I've got another straw bag I, I bought. I'll show you all that. Um, I grabbed this from the same place. I'm telling you, you cannot have enough beautiful pieces like this. And the more I've been hosting, the more I have realized that I actually, I have a need for things like this. Also, um, this is the time of the year where peonies, yeah, $5. Peonies, they grow in our backyard, they're beautiful. 
So this is going to be a perfect vase for peonies, like a tight, um, short, I'm not a bushel, bouquet. Um, so I love that uh, for that, but also, you know what this would be great for? A small, a small amount of banana pudding, a beautiful fruit salad, a beautiful, um, what is it that my cousin's husband loves? It's like a green salad. It's got every green vegetable you could ever think of um, in it. It's a holiday treat, but anyway, there's a lot of things you could use for this and I had to have it. I also pick up really weird stuff like this. It's just a little, we say koozie in Virginia. It's just a little beer koozie or drink koozie. Um, you know, it'll keep your drink nice and cool and your hand protected. But another thing you need for the beach or the pool, and you never think about it until you need it. So this was a quarter. So I just grabbed that. Also, um, Pyrex, this was $5. I know, it's very domestic things, but I need more small square dishes like this for um, baking. Yeah, so brownies, I feel like are best, they sit up best in a small square. This is a, does it say the size? 21 by 21 by five, but that's centimeters, I don't know. I would say it's what a nine by nine, it's a square. Anyway, we don't know the shape, we don't know this, or we don't know the size. This is another bag I got, which I may be selling this. It was just too, too cool, too bohemian. Um, for me not to get, it was $6. So good. Pretty sure it's the same. Yeah, same design. Really great condition. The braided rope. Oh, it's so good. But like, the summer. I just love the shape of it too. I got that. I got a million bags. And then B picked these up for little Juju. He is. Oh my gosh, these are DKNY for little boys. These were all two bucks a piece, but Julian really is a jean and t shirt little boy. That's what he requests, unless it's really hot. And then he says he wants his shorts on. Let's get to the jewelry. Also, you guys, thank you so much for all of your support with my jewelry business. It is so neat uh, to wake up to emails and form submissions on my website, KesleyMcCormick.com. I love that um, y'all are like, is this for sale? Is that for sale? I love this. I love that. And please don't be scared to reach out to me because the worst thing um, that I could say is it's not sugar, it's not for sale, but it may be, and you'll be the first one on my list. Or, you know, yes, it is for sale. So I love that you guys are like really paying attention and checking out pieces. A lot of the things that I wear on video, um, gosh, they usually are for sale. I do have my pieces that I love, like my lion head but anyway i wanted to show this this was not uh from hilton head this is a piece that i stalked online and won um it is an ann klein let's see with a little lion and then the tag on the back ann klein gold bracelet i love this the texture of it it is a little worn, but it is gorgeous. It's a fold over clasp. And I forget the size of it, but this is for sale. Love this. So I got that before Hilton Head, but 
Okay, so all of this stuff comes from one of my favorite places. Um, <clears throat> they're, they're sisters that have a consignment store that's huge and I can spend hours and hours in there. First thing I got is this ring. I think if you watch me, you probably know Sammy J. Gorgeous. I think she's English. She's tattooed from head to toe and she always claps and she says, let's get ready. And she's just got phenomenal style. I think people are really into her jewelry. She stacks rings. That's her thing where I stack bracelets. She stacks rings. I had to have this. It is a just costume piece. Really and truly the birds. <laughs> okay. But so it is so pretty. It's got the rhinestones or CZs on either side. I don't have my ring sizer. I've got hot dogs for fingers, but it's a beautiful stacking piece and it is for sale. So that is straight from Hilton Head. I mean, the jewelry, the jewelry, the jewelry that I have. It's, it's a lot. Okay, so this I have not even pulled out, but this is a panel bracelet that I had to have. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Had to have this. Look at this. I wanna say this is seven and a half. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Now this is more of that Italian look. I love it. Um, so there's also this one I am obsessed with. Obsessed. I'm going to have to get it fixed. I mean, I'm going to fix it, but are you kidding me? This is going to be so hard for me not to keep. It's a little postage. Stay well, it's just a little letter. I thought it was a postcard at first, but is that not great? That big square charm. And I thought this was a see the clasp, but I'm just gonna put on a new clasp because the little the pulley is gone. Oh, no, it's not. Just kidding. Look, it is a spring clasp. I could change it, but isn't this so good? Maybe I need to put this on. Yeah, it's fully working. Oh, that's what happens when you're having happy hour and looking over your jewelry. This is going to be a, I would say a little bit bigger of a piece. Oh my gosh. How great is that? How great is that? Total statement piece. Let me know. Um, wow. I might have to keep that for a little bit. Okay, now this is super cool. This is a bracelet and it said earrings. I am so confused. I have never, oh, they are. How cute are these? Okay, and let me show you the bracelet. The bracelet is an exact match. There's the other little earring. Oh yeah. And this is an eight inch bracelet, which I actually have a client that um, a jewelry client who anytime I get anything eight inch or over she wants to see it so I'm gonna have to show her those and then these earrings I cannot oh my gosh yes 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 
love these so much. Now these have already sold, but I did want to show them. These little bows, aren't they gorgeous? I just think bows are so flirty, they're so fun. Oh, look at that. That's for sale. It's got the chipped gold and then like a really cool belt buckle design. It is a fold over clasp. I will probably be putting these on <clears throat> Instagram stories or my Facebook. I feel like kind of my website. I don't even want to say it, but people are like, look at jewelry every single day, but it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't translate as well. I think because you guys are used to seeing me on video and this is gorgeous. This locket is gorgeous. Um, jewelry is one of those things you kind of have to hear it, see it, um, touch it. And when you see me play with it and touch it, it's very close to, this is a little locket. It's very close to the real thing. So if you can't touch it yourself, it's kind of like, you know, let's have someone else touch it. So sweet little locket. I've never put a picture in a locket. I know a lot of people do or perfume and it is signed Avon. This is the locket's not signed, but the chain is Avon. That's so pretty. Love that. And then <laughs> the bracelet, I will be having a whole funeral for, let me show you her. I had three people in line waiting for me to measure her. She's gone, but let's look at it. Oh my gosh. Emily is getting this. It is gorgeous. I mean, she's got a tiny wrist and this is a little bit smaller um, than a, I can't remember the sizing. It's bigger than her wrist. She wanted it. <clears throat> if she really wanted to, look, you guys, jewelry is fixable. She could probably take one of these chunks out. Cause see, that's just a ring. So she could she could undo like here in the middle. She could undo this one just by taking those off. But it's gorgeous. I had to document it. It is a um, brand that I believe to be French, Verger. Verger, see it right there? It's super tingly, it's a little worn. It is so good, so good. Um, a lot of y'all have been asking me, how do you wear things that seem fancy, a little fancier, but every day? You wear them with pieces that are a little worn. You wear them with jeans. You wear them with casual fabrics. Because I think it's the whole picture. Do you know what I mean? So if you're wearing something fancy, like this, this collared shirt, it is that, you know, like the scarf or mez look. I've got it on, I've got blue jean cutoffs with it. Do you know what I mean? So I think it really is the, the whole look, the whole combination. I mean, I would wear this with a baby doll white t-shirt and high rise jeans. I would wear this with a, um, beautiful sundress. I would wear this to bed. I knew it wouldn't break overnight, but so I had to document this. I've got one more baggie of jewelry to show you, and that will conclude the video. Okay. So I did measure this. It's six and three quarters. How neat is that? Love this piece. Mixed metal. Did I tell y'all that this shirt was from there too? Like I got this shirt down in Hilton Head Island too. And you can, um, with a button down shirt, I have it. My nail just flew off, did you see that? My nail just flew off, anyway. Um, so with these 
shirts you can tuck in the collar. I have mine uh, tied at the waist. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, but anyway, you can do so much with a collared shirt or like a button down. How cute is this? The silver and gold, and then it's got a little gold toggle. This is probably a little bit newer. Loved this. This is so great. I love it. All of this is for sale. And then I got this because I literally probably spend more time on Pinterest <clears throat> than I do social media, believe it or not. I just love Pinterest. There's a plethora of inspiration and ideas, but when I go on there, I always see a net stack with a, a shamrock, a four leaf clover. This is a three leaf clover, right? It is marked to silver, silver, I don't know. But anyway, all of this is going to be for sale. I had so much fun in Hilton Head. Um, we went to the beach like for two minutes. Um, but I highly recommend you getting away. Make Take a long weekend. If you have children, leave them behind. They'll be okay and they'll appreciate you more. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will be back with more ASMR videos. If you're still watching, I have linked below. I will every now and then put a custom or a like I will just sit down and pre-record a video that's an exclusive um and what will happen is you will go to the link you'll pay for it and you'll have that forever link um to watch that video as much as you want so I have a list of a few of those available um I don't like Patreon for creators. I do not like how that platform's set up. I used to have it. I get asked a lot if I have videos there. But if you would like to support me or see videos that you can only purchase, um, the link is in the description of this video. Love you all so much, and I'll see you soon.